So this is in Isaac's account. All right. Uh, I am the Devastator. And there you go. Last played, Burnout Paradise, or non-origin shortcut. Now, if we go to order history, I bought it after I purchased it for myself because it worked. And when this comes up, here's his order history. There you go. Same date, 8th of the 7th. Don't tell the time. It's there. That's the Burnout Paradise Vehicle Pack. All right, so we go into his games. We go on here, play. It's going to log into Steam. I should do. Where's his Steam? Controller connected. No, it's not. Isaac. Oh. What's he doing? Playing Star Wars? Mm -hmm. So this is his. Let's get that controller in. Dun, 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 dun. All right, same thing. All right, connecting to the servers. Screens is so as Windows 10, this one is. Well, no matter. All right, so enter Paradise City. Now, we go to toy vehicles. Now, he's got vehicles owned, nine out of nine, but he's got a no entry on it. And it can't access them. So if we go to it, it takes us to the burnout store to purchase them. And you can't purchase them from there, as in the previous video said. When it comes up, There you go, not available now. So, we know that's not available. All right, and also, we go back. It's Paradise Cars. It don't matter if we go Legendary Cars. It's got four vehicles owned, four out of four. Can't access them. Boost Special Cars. Two out of two. Can't access them. Uh, what's the other one? Bikes are on here, aren't they? And there's his bike. Look, oh, oh, oh. let's go back. And then we go to Paradise Cars. And now it says he only owns 70 out of 75. On mine, is 75 of 75. So to say that um, the game doesn't work, yeah, that music's irritating. So that says, that's all he can play with. So we've purchased the game from Steam for about 2 or $3 or $5, whatever it was at the time. And that's it. Now they want 20 some dollars for it on Origin. And why would you pay that? So there we go. That's the proof that Steam download content works. Works and doesn't work. It's not about getting the money back, I'm not interested in that. It's about um, getting the game to work, that's it. And I ain't paying $20 for a game that only costs about 2 or $5. So there we go. That's to prove to these Origin Tech guys that Steam download content, uh, Origin download content works with Origin games. But then it doesn't.